namaste to all masters uh, firstly i sincere um, I, i would like to express my sincere gratitude to sarojamma who has given us this wonderful platform to share our wisdom and knowledge to and um, grow together uh, so this sangha is uh, english hindi sangha so uh, we do uh, have it like every once in three months or two months uh, depends on the availability for all the leaders uh so first of all um we'll just begin with the meditation uh and then uh, we'll go uh, forward from there so i would like to welcome every masters who have uh, presented today uh, thank you thank you thank you so much um for joining today uh so i'll just quickly uh sing a small song so that we all um meditate together Okay masters please sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes so we'll do meditation before we begin the session thank you so much dhyanam <clears> dhyanam <throat> dhyanam siyavendum dhyanam So you will be 
பரவோபகாரம் உபகாரம் செய்யலாமே தியானம் தியானம் கற்பிக்கலாமே தியானம் தியானம் ஒன்றே செய்ய வேண்டும் சைவாகாரமே புண்ணியாகாரம் சைவாகாரமே புண்ணியாகாரம் அசைவாதாரமே பாவாகாரம் அசைவத்தை விட்டு விட்டு பாவத்தை விளக்கிடுவோம் அதற்கு தியானம் ஒன்றே செய்ய வேண்டும் இனமும் தியானம் ஒன்றே செய்ய வேண்டும் பாவமே போகும் புண்ணியமே போகும் பாவமே ரோகம் புண்ணியமே போகும் தானமே தாரும் ஞானமே மோட்சம் மோட்சமே கோருகின்றோம் அதற்கு தியானம் ஒன்றே செய்ய வேண்டும் தியானம் தினமும் தினதினமும் தியானம் ஒன்றே செய்ய வேண்டும் தினமும் தியானம் ஒன்றே செய்ய வேண்டும் தியானம் Masters, when you're ready, please raise your hands on your toes, eyes. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Open your eyes with a beautiful smile, Masters. Let us give a big clap for the wonderful meditation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so, yeah, I would like to welcome again all the masters who have joined today for this beautiful Sangha session. First of all, I would like to say a happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful ma'ams who are presented here. And also, I would like to give my wishes to our beloved Sarojama. He um, will be here shortly, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, before we start the session, yeah, today our topic is uh, uh, forgiveness. So, hopefully everyone would love to uh, share about your insights master so we do have four halls so we are not assigning uh, participants into any hall so the forum is yours and uh, we are ready to uh, welcome your insights and share your wisdom so please uh, raise your hands so i'll unmute you guys uh, then you can share your thoughts and insights about forgiveness so we'll just have a um, discussion so anyone would like to start with please raise your hand uh, i will admit you guys thank you ma'am <clears throat> yes sir right, ma'am yeah one thing yes. I, one thing i want to play because aapne bahut acha gaya magar main 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 itna hi samjhi ki dhyan hamare jeevan mein bahut zaruri hai aur hum jo deserve karte wo hame milta hai तो स्पेशल थैंक्स टू ध्यान विच स्पेशल थैंक्स टू आवर स्वीट मैम ओ मैम वी लव यू मैम ओ मैम वी लव यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर जमा या इफ यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर या यू कैन स्टार्ट विद योर इनसाइट्स देन वी कैन गो अहेड would you like to start uh, the session to share your thoughts what is forgiveness and how you practice forgiveness in your um day to day life so it would be great so that uh, yeah i can get someone to translate it in english so in case yeah if you struggle <laughs> yeah can I, whom you are yes, talking oh, now ah uh, yes yeah, so much ma'am yeah yeah it's for you yeah yeah 
थैंक यू आई एम सो ग्लैड आई एम दार्ट ऑफ दिस प्लेटफॉर्म मेरे दोस्तों माफी लेना और माफी देना बहुत इजी नहीं है ये हमें बर्बाद कर देता है अगर हम माफी नहीं लेते हैं तो पूरी टाइम रोलिंग चलती है और एक जलेबी होती है ना उसके जैसे रोल 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 होके वो घूमता रहता है माइंड में एंड और हमें ही पूरे दिन टेंशन में ले आता है और जब हम मेडिटेशन में आते हैं मास्टर्स की बातों को बच्चा बन के सुनते हैं और जब हमें लाइफ में कभी भी ऐसे मोमेंट्स आते हैं तो वो टिक टिक करने लगता है तो लगता है कि माफी देना तो बहुत सरल है और ऐसे हम सोचे तो बहुत टफ है मगर जब हम सामने वाले को माफ कर देते हैं ना तो हमें खुशी होती है कि हम बहुत हल्का महसूस कर रहे हैं लाइक अ बर्ड फ्लाइंग इन द स्काई बहुत अच्छा फीलिंग आता है तो ये कैसे सीखा ध्यान में उतर के मास्टर से मिल के उनकी बातों को सुन के सच में जीवन में लाइफ में हर पल हमें माफी देना तो पड़ेगा ही पड़ेगा अगर हमें खुद को अपनी हैप्पीनेस चाहिए खुद की खुशियां चाहिए तो हम अपने आप को पहले माफ करके सबसे माफी लेंगे अदरवाइज भुगतते रहो इस वर्ल्ड में आए हैं तकलीफ पाते रहो दुख उठाते रहो और सारी टाइम तकलीफ पा करके गॉड से कहते रहो कि गॉड तू कहाँ है तूने मुझे इतनी तकलीफ दी प्लीज मगर जब माफी लेते हैं तो हम देखते हैं मैं आपको एक रियल इंसिडेंट बताती हूँ बहुत मेडिटेशन में आने के पहले की बात और उसके बाद का तो पहले ऐसे तो मेरे बहुत चाहने वाले हैं सब मुझे बहुत प्यार करते हैं हैवी फैमिली से बिलोंग करती हूँ पियर ससुराल सब तरफ से तो मुझे बहुत खुशी होती है कि सब मुझे मगर कभी कभी मेरा नेचर जो है ना गुस्सा वाला कभी कभी हार्मफुल हो जाता है और वो लोग मुझे समझाने की चेष्टा करते तो मुझे गुस्सा आता है कैसे मुझे वो समझा रहे हैं उनको समझाने का इतना राइट नहीं है वो लोग हर समय राइट होते हैं और हम हर समय राउंड होते हैं मगर जानती हो जब से देखा कि जो भी मुझे समझाने आता है वो मेरे लिए नया लेसन है मुझे पता रहा है कि तेरा ग्रोथ ही होगा और जब मास्टर्स की बातें सुनी कि एक बार माफी दे के तो देखो तो कुछ ऐसा इंसिडेंट हुआ कि फैमिली में तो लोगों ने मुझे डांटा क्योंकि मुझसे बिगड़ गया था वो काम और मुझे दुख हुआ कि मैं इतना प्यार से बनाई और ये मुझे डांट रहे हैं तो मैंने देखा कि कोई बात नहीं वो बहुत गंदे है मुझे डांट रहे हैं खाली और पता नहीं क्या हुआ मेडिटेशन में आने के बाद लगा कि मेरे को लेसन दे रहे हैं मुझे समझा रहे हैं ये मेरी तो अपॉर्चुनिटी है आगे बढ़ने के लिए और जानते हो ये जो मोमेंट था मैंने उनको दिल से माफ किया कि मा, मुझे माफ कर दीजिए मुझसे गलती हुई और जानते हो दस मिनट बाद वो रूम में आते हैं और मुझे हगी करके प्यार करके बोलते हैं क्या हुआ तो कोई बात नहीं तो ये है एक्शन का रिएक्शन ये है एक्सेप्टेंस जो हम अपने आप को स्वीकार भाव मिला करके और हम करते नहीं है अंदर ही अंदर हमारे मन में चलता है अंदर कुछ बाहर कुछ तो उसका बहुत बड़ा बवाल हो जाता है तो जरूरी है कि हम दिल से सबको सुबह उठते ही माफ करें माफी लें और माफी दें और देखिए हमारा जीवन कितना सुंदर हो जाता है और हम अपने जीवन में इतनी खुशियां पाने लगते हैं बिल मांगे मोती मिलने लगते हैं तो माफ करिए और आगे बढ़िए मेरे तो बहुत से लाइफ के है मेरे पास एग्जाम्पल मगर अब मैं चाहूंगी आप कुछ भी कहें थैंक यू मैं फिर मिलूंगी आपसे मगर हम फिर डिस्कस करेंगे थैंक यू सो मच मैम कुड आई प्लीज आज कुंदा सर जो ट्रांसलेट पद सरोज मैम से यू डोंट माइंड या इफ समवन हु डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी स्पेशली मी आई डिड अंडरस्टैंड मच सो इट वुड बी ग्रेट इफ यू कुड ट्रांसलेट द समरी थैंक यू कुंदा सर थैंक यू सरोज मैम फॉर शेयरिंग दिस योर व्यूज ऑन forgiveness uh, saroj madam told like um, uh, when before meditation and after meditation about her experience with forgiveness and she okay. said that forgiveness is just like uh, it will rotate like a jalebi sweet which will rotate on its own but it will not go away until unless we uh-huh. release itself we forgive ourselves and the others as well and after that she, she explained about uh, how before uh, coming into meditation how she is uh, how she handled forgiveness like uh, if somebody is telling because she is a uh, anger anger nature before the she uh, when after marriage when anybody from the family is telling to calm down or giving a feedback or giving some uh, suggestions she used to take uh, that uh, not like why are you why are these people telling like this to me 
that's kind of views she used to have but after meditation she understood wow that these are all the experiences i am getting they are telling me they are teaching me all these things in this lifetime that's why these people are in my life that's why uh, she uh, forgive from the bottom of the heart she forgave all those uh, people and uh, then she experienced the joy in her how it transformed her life that's uh, uh, the way she look into the people right now is different from the previous uh before meditation and now it is a complete transformation in her way of uh, looking into the other people's and the way the people talking to her and this this is the experience she got uh with forgiveness thank you saraj thank you thank you thank you so much for nasa for the wonderful translation it was really great like um the example you chose like you know how the jalebi to just keep uh, you know curling up again and again so which was really nice so yeah thank you so much uh, for your insight saroj ma'am so i would like to welcome rajani ma'am she has put up her hands to share your um insights it's over to you rajani ma'am namaste everyone thank you for the opportunity it's very late for me and i'm not <laughs> i'm not oh. uh, um using my video ah that's okay so, yeah um when saraja ma'am visited atlanta she clearly yes. said that all the suffering one go through one goes through is due to their past karma so whatever we did before in in our previous uh, births or previously yes. that will come back that's the law of karma so and also another thing is um we come here we take births okay. to for experiences can you all hear me okay yes we can hear you yeah I okay can hear you. so we all yes, yes. take births for to get experiences yes, yeah so yeah. whoever is causing a suffering is part of the play of the karma and uh, we came here for experiences so they are giving us the experiences so they are in a way helping us okay. so we should be thankful than um, other way but it's hard to say it's easy to say and hard to put into practice because of the suffering we have to go through the suffering and it's not easy but until you for until we forgive others that karma thread will keep us tied together what i felt say saroj ma'am said the same thing once you forgive you are you feel lighter you feel like you're done the yeah. karma is finished so if you want to finish the karma with anybody uh, we have to forgive that's the only way forgive and move on forgive and be grateful for giving us the experience and make to make us go go through the karma balance and uh, that's what i learned from saroja saroja ma'am okay thank you so much rajesh ma'am thank you so much you know thank you were just meet up the night i guess here yeah, in the us thank you so much for staying up and sharing your insights uh, it is really valuable yeah as you said how the thread you know just keep on tagging on um so it's not that easy you know sometimes when we go through that pain or that suffering though we feel like oh we we have given like we have forgiven them but still you know some sort of guilty feel is there so it's uh, it's maybe over the practice we could get over it i guess and with more meditation and you know with the help of ourselves so we'll be able to get over the karma i guess yeah, thank you so much so i'll just check with anyone else uh all right uh any other masters would like to share please raise your hands then i can unmute you all please so even if you have any questions so y'all can just um put up the questions so anyone in the group so they be able to answer you masters yeah i can see one then 
Uh, Navin sir, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it's over to you, Navin sir. Share your thank you. Uh, hi, hi everyone. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day and uh, thanks, uh, Saroja ma'am and also Jaya madam uh, <laughs> for this opportunity. <laughs> I'm just walking outside the park. Uh, I'm in. Uh, I'm from uh, <laughs> from uh, USA, California, uh, Bay Area. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so forgiveness, right? Uh, uh, what Jesus mentioned is uh, uh, to understand all is to forgive all. So until we don't have understanding or a clarity, right? Uh, sometimes forgiveness is not easy. So uh, if you actually prematurely forgive, right? So it is still fake in nature, right? Because you are actually forgiving for the sake of peace, for the sake of happiness, right? But it is not naturally coming, right? In a way. Yeah, until until you get to a point wherein naturally the forgiveness flows out of you, right? You can still, you can practice that way. Yes, forgiveness will help both the parties, right? Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, I think the more you understand, usually what happens, the forgiveness doesn't come easily because we have a lot of wrong beliefs about a lot of things, right? For example, we don't know about... Uh, our own challenges, our own experiences, why forgiveness is difficult for us. And at the same time, we don't know the other person's challenges that he went through, that he caused some suffering to us, right? Either he yelled at us or he insulted us, right? Because he is also going through his own challenges, right? If he's completely happy and peaceful, he would never cause suffering to us, right? So it's also the more clarity, more understanding we have, forgiveness comes out very naturally so that's why to understand all is to forgive all or to understand everything is forgiving easy yeah that's all i want to say thank you yeah. thank you so much that was so beautiful Naveen, sir. yeah it's not easy so as if you mentioned we say okay we have forgotten forgive them from our bottom of our heart but you know sometimes we still have that kind of feeling whether we have completely for, forgive them or not so it's really tricky as you said i think more of more practice would help uh to forgive like again first to understand what is you know the forgiveness uh, is like in truth about it uh thank you so much for your insights so i looking for another master uh anyone else masters I didn't see any hands as yet. So if anyone come across, you know, any incidents so or like something, uh, whether you have just uh, forgiven, you just felt the lightness and everything as uh, Saroj mentioned in the more, some with examples, something recently or in the past. So you are welcome to share so that it would be helpful for other people to uh, you know, understand in depth. Uh... Ma'am, yeah. can I add something, Shima? Uh, oh, forgiveness yes, is not just forgiving others. It's also forgiving yourself. Yes. Sometimes we yes. feel guilty when we have some, yes. done something. And this yes. keeps on going in our mind, which is not good for our health. So for our yes. mental health also, forgiveness is very necessary. And yep. by forgiving others, we, op we open a heart, which is closed. We don't understand others' view and all. It helps in opening our hearts, right? Yep. And then I think forgiving, it teaches us to love and accept everybody. Yeah. According to me. Yeah, that's true. You know, unless we accept, then it's it's not uh, possible, the forgiveness, I guess. And it gives yeah. us peace of mind because the chatter is, is going within us. If we yes. forgive ourselves and the other person, it gives yeah. us peace of mind. Yeah. And be better mental health and everything. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's what I wanted to add. Thank you, Shimana. Thank you so much.
um, anyone else would like to put your hands up? Please, masters, yeah, come up with your really good insights, so it would be really helpful. Yes, Lavinia, ma'am. Thank you so much for raising your hands. It's over to you, Lavinia, ma'am. Thank you. Hi, Jay, ma'am. Hello. Um, it, uh, first of all, uh, happy Mother's Day to you and to Thank everyone you. over the masters and to Saraja, ma'am. Yeah, we feel mm, the same. And thing. Thank you, Jay, ma'am. And uh, it was really a wonderful song, the way you sung, and it really had so much of meaning into it. Um, Thank you so much. And but you it was in Tamil. I don't know many of you understood, but I no, I you could know, understand. There's a Telugu could version understand. as well. So, yeah. so I could understand. So, like, I really felt the way you were singing, and it was with so much of uh, uh, like the feelings as well so thank you thank you for choosing that song for our meditation today yeah my pleasure uh, thank you and regarding this forgiveness uh, yes i completely accept for the people i mean whoever masters you have told so far about that forgiveness is for ourselves and also for others so let me, uh, in, like I used to do meditation for, from like uh, from my, uh, after 12 plus 12, but I see a major change in me when I started attending Saraja Ma'am's classes, where I came to know about this forgiveness and these, these classes. Then the real change has occurred in me. Uh, there were few situations and few scenarios in my life where are you always used to think like how could they do that is it the way like there are so many questions and you know like we can't change others i was really struggling with that so when i when i attended these classes and it was really an an uh, mind blowing for me because i don't know like probably it was my uh my uh path that to change myself that was my time probably um, I started to think and I used to ask many questions because I could not forgive them uh, like how could they do that that was a question used to ask like then I used to say okay uh, what Navin sir said like initially try to fake it when you try to fake it and slowly it comes up like okay okay I'm forgiving I'm forgiving I'm forgiving so slowly then you realize that you start your heart started to expand and you try to think okay I'm forgiving how could it feel like and your your heart the lightness in your heart start I don't say like it it started like within a day or something it took time for me because each situation and each scenario has its own time stamp because whatever the emotions which have occurred in me it has to release if it has to release then it takes time because that much of emotions I have taken it into me um, so uh, then I asked Saroja ma'am like how could like how um, even uh, I, I told them okay I am forgiving them but when I remember them I still get that kind of the emotions coming up then she said like it's a double-sided sword when you you can't you uh, like when you think about them it is coming up means that you're not forgiving them truly then when you I started for, uh, faking it then I it came up easily um and then slowly and now I realize uh, when you look at your sensations and your emotions, a lot of uh, easiness and you do and you also think, OK, people, everyone are correct in their own way. That might be the reason they would have done. No one would do any work if they don't think that it is correct. So in their perspective, that might be the they might be correct. In my perspective, I might be correct. That that understanding has like I have grown to that understanding. So I feel like the forgiveness has helped me to get to that understanding. So that is what I wanted to share. And by forgiving others, and I also forgive myself. Like when I do something wrong, like which I or like say some words to my. Uh, family like which I'm not supposed to because when we are in anger and we lose <laughs> uh, our emotions so the words easily or like the actions I could say uh, we uh, show, show on them because they are very close and dear to me um, so forgiving myself because I've started to forgiving others it also helped me to forgive myself as well so um, so it's really a, a great, uh, in the important part which played in my life. So that's how the importance it is. 
thank you uh, jaya ma'am and saroja ma'am for uh, giving me this opportunity thank you once again thank you thank you so much lavanya ma'am for the wonderful insight um, it's really yeah, what you say like it's not for one person it's for both uh, people and uh, yeah, as if navin you said we when we keep practicing whether we don't know the truth real understanding about how the forgiveness you know work naturally whether we fake it just we just keep practicing whether we say we keep forgiving them for the thing what they have done and you know if we have small pain or hurt so then the same way yeah we forgive ourselves so i think yeah it's a matter of time it heals and i think we get matured uh, thank you thank you so much uh, for the beautiful insight i'll just uh, look for another master who has put up uh, hands. uh anyone else masters would you like to share your uh, views or perspectives or any examples which you came across any scenarios it would be great thank you so much i'm still Can looking for one more thing raise. uh yes rajani ma'am please go ahead um one more thing i learned from sarja ma'am sessions only that uh each one of us are in certain phases of our soul cycle so whatever behavior we think whatever behavior we identify in others as wrong we were doing it at certain phases in our life cycle that's how we are evolving evolving uh, yeah so and i know it the other the suffering is mostly caused by our ego like identification with the body and mind only causes suffering otherwise yeah. unless someone hits us physically yeah uh, all the mental suffering is happening in the mind only yeah um so once we understand that each person we cannot expect anybody to behave in a certain way first thing even if they do even if somebody's behavior causes us causes pain or problem for us we have to understand that they are at a certain phase in their soul cycle they will evolve we have we have we had been there at some point so that helped me personally um that people are at yeah. different levels of life uh, their soul cycles so everything is okay everybody is yeah. okay as they are yeah. as yeah. they are they're okay once we understand that i'm not judging the judging has come down and it's also helping my mind with lesser thoughts most of the time the judging and expectations causes most of the thoughts in our minds yeah. once you stop it there are fewer thoughts now i hope i i'm i i clearly explain yes. what i meant to explain <laughs> i think yeah you. we got it thank you so much rajini ma'am to add on that point as well yeah as if we said yeah it's uh, it's more of practice and the understanding how it helps us to yeah as if you said like you know how the soul cycle works and you know because whatever we have done it just come back to us as uh, you know so we have to go through it so we have to just accept and then move on uh, as if we are let it go and then move on so it was so beautiful so i think our beloved ma'am saroja ma'am is here so Uh, happy mother's day to you ma'am thank you so much for joining now it's such a wonderful day that you know for the mother's day we having this session and you are here in our presence it's a blessing thank, thank you thank so you very much, much jaya and okay. uh, happy mother's day to you and all the masters who are here today um, indeed it's such a such a happy day um sabhi okay. mataon ko happy mother's day bahut khushi ho rahi hai ki aap log sab aaj uh, mother's day ke din sangas mein join ho rahe hain and a very good topic to start with which is forgiveness which is the only trait of a mother forgiveness starts with mother so what a better topic than it can be on a mother's day a great one jaya thank you ma'am thank you so much it's all your blessings yeah would you like to add something ma'am no continue jaya all right okay 
Thank you, ma'am. All right, masters, would anyone like to share your views? This forum is open for every one of you who had joined. It's your session. Please feel free to share your perspectives, masters. Yeah, thank you, Navindi. You are back here. Yeah, it's over to you. A happy Mother's Day, Saroja, ma'am. Thank you very much, Naveen. <laughs> Thank you. So the another thing that I understood is uh, uh, to make error is human, to forgive is divinity. So in a way, we are half human, half divine. So <laughs> we'll continuously make mistakes. That means we are human. We continuously forgive all divine beings. I just felt like saying that. Thank you. That's absolutely wonderful, Naveen, what you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. To it's very human to make error. And wherever there's divinity, there is only forgiveness. Yes. So so what are we yes. learning? That we are oscillating between erring and forgiving. Forgiving. So what happens is we move from being human to recognizing our divinity. So we are not all the time can we be in touch with our divinity, as we all know. In the materialistic world, we become totally human and we keep erring. But the times that we can get in touch with ourselves and we realize our divinity, that is the time we realize that we have the power to forgive. So what happens is, initially, you are leaning more towards humanity, so you keep doing more errors, less time in touch with your divinity. So the initial phase, you do not realize the value of forgiveness much. But as you start on this path of getting in touch with your divinity, then slowly the pendulum starts moving from your being human to your being divine. And whenever you touch your divinity extreme, you realize that you have more power than what you had when you were human. So the reason I'm telling this is there will come a time where you will spend more time being a human, sorry, you'll spend less time being a human and more time in touch with your divinity and slowly the error frequency will keep reducing and the forgiveness band will keep increasing and that is the path we are all on. But very beautifully put, yes, humanity, yes, we do mistakes, it's fine. But uh, we have to remember that divinity which is in us. So yeah, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, that was the beautiful quote uh, Navinji mentioned. Thank you so much uh, for that. Um, looking for more hands raised there. Masters, please do raise your hands to share your ideas, please. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you... all the masters here. Oh, thank you, Nilma, ma'am. Would you like to share um, your views, ma'am? Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, Please. As Saroja, ma'am, was you. mentioning, uh, being uh, forgiving is like being your true true nature. So when that is you, when you're closer to your div divine self, you're so much at peace. It comes so naturally. Actually, anger takes so much, drains so much of your energy. But when you forgive and, you know, when you love somebody unconditionally, it is it empowers you, it liberates you. You feel so, yeah, that is bliss, true bliss. And uh, anger and or hatred takes you away a little. Nilima, madam, just asking a question. Yeah, it is beautiful when you forgive somebody, you feel so liberated. But what about your own self, madam? When we... we where does forgiving ourselves stand in this whole discussion? Prime, madam. Unless you forgive yourself, you don't can't forgive anybody else. That is, is that prime, true? I feel. Is that true? I feel it's, it's, it's good to talk about, good to read in books. But how practical is it? It starts is it? with you only, I guess. I mean, for really? me, I felt I had to forgive myself first to forgive anybody. Okay. This was more a question to the group because masters. I am my biggest critic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all talk things, but practically, 
forgiving others is easy than forgiving your own self. Because forgiving others, you realize that all you need is compassion towards what they have done. But when it comes to you, you can't find a justification why and how you can forgive yourself. The reason I'm saying this, Masters, I only talk through examples, through real, real life examples. And there is a great master in our Beyond Your Mind Foundation who is able to see her past lives. And in our past lives, we might have done horrendous activities. Today, we are all absolutely on a divine path through this Sajjana Satsangha, through these Sanghas, you know, the great workshop Jaya Madam is leading today. You know, this is all our karmas that have brought us so far. But in the past lives, we might have done horrendous activities. But when you see those past lives, Masters, let me tell you, it's not that easy to really reconcile the two where you are here today and how you could be so horrendous somewhere. And that master really struggled for a long time even to come in, come to terms with what she had seen about herself. That is the reason I was asking today that I think forgiveness is a great topic, but as Nilima Madam said, that yes, it is easy to forgive ourselves, but we need to practice that more and more. Find every opportunity to understand that we are only getting a better version of ourselves every day. We all have started from somewhere if we look back, we all may be ashamed of what we did, but there is nothing wrong or right, you know. We all improve from where we are. I just wanted to share this, Masters. Thank you, Neil, ma'am. Ma Thank you, Saroja, ma'am, for that beautiful discussion. Yeah, yeah, because that was the question. Uh -huh. Yeah, we need to forgive ourselves. Yeah, please go ahead, uh -huh. ma'am. Amma, can I ask a question? Is this um for this right and wrong all this comes from belief system right we set some norms that this is the right behavior this is wrong but um does nature see that that way or is just evolution yeah so how does nature see that's a good question nature does not see anything as wrong or right if you have passed some energy to others, you are going to get the same energy. So if you are given a pain energy to somebody, you will receive the pain energy. Now you don't like pain, so you say it's negative. Nature doesn't see it. See what kind of energy it is going up the curve, down the curve. It doesn't care. If you have harmed somebody, I'm not saying harm is good or bad, just a word I'm using. And if that's caused pain to someone, again, I'm not saying pain is good or bad, it's just a word. Then rest, be rest assured that you will have your turn to get that pain back and the harm back. That is what the karma cycle is. Nobody is saying good, bad, negative, positive, nothing. So it's all it is, is the cycle, Rajni, it will come back. That's all. Whatever it is, mm -hmm. pain, harm, pleasure, it's a cycle that will complete and get back. Now you're saying, our belief system says it's good or bad. Even if we didn't have a belief system, and if you did something, it will come back without having that belief yeah. system. It is just energy. Energy travels in a cycle. What you give out, you will get back. There's no doubt about it. Have I answered your so question, question Rajni? Is, yeah, yeah. Yes, you answered. Your answer helped me. But my question is um, how to, like, we all know that I have done past, I have done wrongs yesterday in my few days ago. Like I like Naveen said, error is human. So I have, we all have done bad things in our past lives or this life. But how to, what, how, uh, what helps us? For giving yeah. ourselves. Well, that well, labeling, us, should we remove the label? What helps us is to understand. It only makes you understand that there is a cycle of evolution. 
and you are learning from your okay. own experience that's all because Great let amount. me give you an example yes. rajni in your three lives back whatever you did if you thought it was wrong you would not have done it in that day belief system what you were doing was right in your own eyes so you did it but today when you see what you are seeing about three lives back you see it is not right why because your belief system has changed your understanding has changed so today whatever you are doing thinking that it's right maybe three lives after you may feel that that's not right you understand rajni how we evolve yeah. and how yes, our understanding yes, evolves today you are sitting here and telling me something with your understanding and belief system but three lives after if you looked at this life with that understanding you may say oh my god is that all my understanding was that was a blunder so mm -hmm. who is right who is wrong in today's understanding this is all you knew was right so this is what makes you forgive yourself when you understand the bigger picture that our understanding keeps improving again and again and again and again and along with that our belief system improves our belief system changes hope i'm able to make that clear yes. how it yes, changes sir. the belief system yes. very clear amma yeah good thank, thank you. you thank you thank you so much yeah uh, i think deepi ma'am she has put it in the miss chat uh, the free will also comes in the picture so that matters as well and yeah uh hello gangadhar sir thank you hello, so namaste, much hello namaste madam good evening thank you one first thank you ma'am and uh, first of all i want to convey happy mothers day to all the beautiful mothers including sarvaj ma'am and all the beautiful masters great to have this session on mothers day because uh, the mother is the one who can forgive her children unconditionally uh, that's the first step where we can learn forgiveness um uh, so um, forgiveness uh, uh, so many masters have beautifully explained and uh, their experiences as through their life and all so uh, forgiveness is one of the fastest way to help grow compassion in our lives Uh, and also we in thousand seeds of joy we have learned this uh, uh, holy trinity where uh, uh, mind is behind all the emptiness uh, um, soul feelings body feelings and mind is there behind all these things um, and forgiveness is that soul feeling uh, through which uh, we can build compassion in our life um, so when we say forgiveness uh, so we need to forgive others we need to forgive ourselves all these things but i think this is one uh, weapon or uh, a tool which we can keep to ourselves in in our tough situations uh, because if we don't forgive at one point uh, this cycle of whatever anger we stored in us might turn into hatred and uh, if you don't forgive again that hatred might turn into a, we don't know what so when we are able to use this tool at the right point we can come from ego path to soul path uh, that's when uh, we realize our uh, unconditional love in our heart so whenever we forgive we maybe if we are able to be in awareness and observe ourselves that's when we are able to connect to our heart So those glimpse. Uh, that's what uh, this all knowledge is coming from. Thousand seeds of joy with the help of Saroja, ma'am. Uh, so and also, if you don't forgive yourselves, uh, whatever is happening, that guilt might turn into sadness and all. So only if we are is uh, if we are able to use that forgiveness, because we are at what stage we are in, we are some may have be able to do forgiveness, forgive, but. depending on their stage for some people forgiveness may not mean anything because how can we forgive if they have done this much thing to us how can we forgive like that they can think but um because whatever we are storing it's in our mind like we are carrying through our thoughts and emotions we are carrying a big burden 
by not forgiving others or not forgiving yourself we are carrying this burden of thing only if we are able to forgive then we can uh, relieve that uh, burden from ourselves um, so at this point i also want to uh, uh, remind about the hopanano prayer which says i am sorry uh, i am sorry means uh, uh, i am responsible for my life for whatever is happening so i it's not, they we don't need to say uh think of whom we are saying to sorry to and then the next word is please forgive me so we don't need to think about whom we are asking forgiveness in this prayer uh so and then thank you and also i love you so this powerful mantra when we are reciting in many situations where we are feeling very uneasy and tough situations it might uh, connect to us that tool of forgiveness that soul feeling only if you are in the soul path we are able to use i'm not i'm sure that if you are in ego path we are still finding reasons our mind finding reasons for not why not to forgive and why we not forgive ourselves because we we are addicted to keep on thinking and feeling that emotions that sad sadness anger all those emotions we might be getting addicted so to come out of that addiction and to get a glimpse of our heart in the true moment forgiveness is all needed so i think we need to get that reminders we need to keep that reminders so that we are able to use that in that right moment when it is needed otherwise so much we are learning and if we are able to practice that and share that experience that would be really great i think uh, uh, one of the basic things that we are forgetting here is we are teaching children about forgiveness we are not using such big terms when we teach forgiveness to children we have been told children that you know you have to forgive because of your karma you have to forgive because of your soul feelings you have to forget forgive because thousands seeds of joy says this or untold stories of sita says this we are trying to put forgiveness in such small easy words to children then why are we forgetting that basic thing i mean this this is just like a flash moment for me the basic thing forgiveness is required is i think we have forgotten we all need to brush up what we used to learn in the initial years uh, we the four important key things of our nature is unconditional love health and well being abundance and creativity and these these things we've used to talk in detail in two years back for some reason it only got limited to crystal children corner academy and we adults have totally forgotten the reason i'm talking about this is when we talk about health and well being the yeah. only way you can have health and well being is when you bring forgiveness into your life each one of our health is directly related with the power to forgive we are teaching this in crystal children corner academy why we need to forgive it's only it's not for anyone else we are not doing a favor to anybody but all our blocks that we are carrying because of all the emotional grudge we have for others that is causing the ill health in us so in such simple terms we are putting it out there for children that if you want to be healthy learn to forgive and get rid of your blocks i think masters i honestly think instead of going so deep into big things that sometimes become difficult for us to practice sometimes we should, we should all become like that children and try to make things easy and simple so that it's easy to practice it just came to my mind gangadhar that this is what we've been so teaching much. in the in the crystal children you know we don't tell them any high five things or stuff that they can't understand because we understand karma and things is beyond them so maybe we should also keep our life simple and try to think that you know you forgive others you will remove all the blocks from your prana or yes. energy system or whatever it is i just thought i would like to add this yes so much thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so much uh, ganga this sir and uh, saroja ma for adding that point as well yeah yeah no way how you choose to say all these things yeah how much uh, how the children are practicing how how we teach them to be yes. like simple 
it is. So yeah. Yeah, Maybe we just the other day one master was asking me, um, like, uh, why, why there was a forgiveness session in our things. I was forwarding that principles of creation to her. So I think we should all go through that session again to get that basics. Definitely. Actually, Jaya, madam, that reminds me yeah. that such a good top a point has come up today. We, we learn so much on this platform, madam. Beyond your mind, we have gone, explored every part of our life. But you know, sometimes things that we don't brush up, we also forget. So not a bad idea, madam. You know, after we finish off all the topics and we are thinking what to do, we can bring topics from the past that we have discussed and we can open them for discussion as well. Just a suggestion, madam. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Definitely, ma'am. Thank you so much for your input. So, uh, Saroja, ma'am, as you mentioned, right, probably we can talk about some foundation pillars that we have to keep as a reminders all the time, right? Like something like witnessing, forgiveness, self-love, self-acceptance, right? Uh, probably we can talk, I don't know if, if such a thing is already there, some foundation pillars of BYM. Uh, just a suggestion. It's already there, uh, Naveen. You, you were okay. not there in the foundation then. We have talked about <laughs> yeah. principles of creation and what do you need to bring those four. And it's a very simple rule, only four things. And we teach our mm -hmm. children all the time. We have a class okay. called principles of creation. We talk about it. So it's all there. That's why I'm saying to Jaya, madam, sometimes it's good to bring the past things and revisit because we are so far. <laughs> yes. Full. I am posting them. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for Saraja Mam and Naveen. Yeah. Nirima Mam, uh, sorry, yeah, you were halfway through that time. Please go ahead. Welcome back. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Actually, Saraja Mam's question uh, triggered a thought process like how my journey uh, of uh, you know self forgiveness started. The process uh, happened very well like you know like you put the bricks and put the plastering happens with cement yeah. that was when I started attending Saroja ma'am's classes and she always used to mention this is your divine plan like you know when it is your plan how would you not like it that was a very simple logic that touched me uh, the most like for example if I make something at home and it is it is not up to the mark I will not ask people how is it because I know somewhere like you know that it is it hasn't come out well so I will not venture into like asking somebody like how it is but when yeah. I think I've done a good job that is when like you know I ask yeah. others like how it is so when my divine plan if I don't like I don't like the characters that I've put in my life then how is it possible like you know but that without that acceptance forgiveness doesn't come only i feel yes yes so that that always saroja ma'am that word this is your divine plan i don't know it used to hit me and it did that plastering work so i never had to go back and check whether it is really that i have forgiven myself or not like you know only then i can accept what is happening in in my life this is my plan. It it gives you that um, empowerment also that whatever is happening is hap not in an egoistic way. It it is all a journey for you know for us going uh, like you know a step ahead. Oh. So uh, it's a beautiful thing that you know uh, yeah I plan my life in such a nice way so I yeah. can get closer to myself. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, that was beautiful, Nilima. Ma'am, yeah, yeah. It's uh, right. Thank Nilima you. also mentioned with that you like the like soul cycle, how it planned, and we came. So these are all like learning uh, obstacles. So we just need to take it in that way. So I think it would be easy then for us to forgive whatever it happens. You know, then we can let go and move on. Yeah, that's beautiful. Like, you know, when something happens, you just said to yourself, oh, it's my divine plan. So why do why would, you know, we go against it? Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you so much for bringing that point. It was a beautiful uh, point, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, Saroj, ma'am, yeah, you put your hand raised. Yeah, you can. 
share your thoughts thank you sir ha mere ma'am mere ko hard word use karna nahi aata hai main i am using my from my heart kyunki i learn from ma'am ki jo kuch bhi kehna hai ya jo kuch bhi bolna hai heart se bolo apne anubhav se bolo ke to samne samajh aayega to unka smiley face mujhe hamesha mere andar shakti bharta hai तो मैंने भी वही किया अपने बच्चों के साथ मैंने शुरू से ऐसे भी कहते हैं कि माँ जो होती है मोम होती है मोम इन स्कैंडल जो जलती रहती है हंसती रहती है और अपने एकदम मोम बन के हर चीज को माफ कर देती है तो बच्चे तो वही देखते हैं जो माँ माँ को देख रहे हैं वही वो सीखते हैं मगर कई मोमेंट ऐसे हो जाते हैं तो हमें पता पड़ता है जब हम सुनते हैं बुक्स पढ़ते हैं मास्टर्स को सुनते हैं हम अपनी लाइफ में फेस करते हैं ना तो हमें यही समझ में आता है बी काइंड टू आवर सेल्फ सबसे पहले तो मुझे अपने आप को प्यार करना है अगर अपने आप को प्यार नहीं किया तो दूसरे की भावना को कैसे समझेंगे हम टोटली बिल्कुल नहीं समझेंगे और मकड़ी के जाले के जैसे उसी के अंदर उलझ उलझ के अपने आप को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देंगे तो जरूरी है मैंने अपने लाइफ का एक्सपीरियंस इसीलिए मैं बताना चाहती हूँ कि हमें क्या करना है हर बात को लेट गो कर देना है अपने प्रेजेंट में रहना है बड़ी बड़ी बातें बड़े बड़े टॉपिक्स कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा जब तक कि हम आज के प्रेजेंट में रह के रियलाइज नहीं करेंगे कि जो कुछ भी मैं कर रही हूँ इज इट राइट इज इट गिविंग मी हैपीनेस क्या मुझे खुशी हो रही है इसको करके बस That much I want to share कि हमें अपने प्रति खुद के प्रति प्यार रखना होगा सेल्फ लव करके तब हम दूसरों को प्यार कर पाएंगे खुशियां बांट पाएंगे माफी देना और माफी लेना बहुत अच्छा टॉपिक है और माँ के लिए मोम बंद करके रहना इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट मगर उसने सुना उसने उस पर काम किया तो आज एक माँ दावे के साथ कहती है कि नहीं हम मोम बंद कर भी हमने अपने जीवन की खुशियां पाई है फॉर गिफ्ट तो यही हुआ ना माफ करते करते आगे बढ़ते गए उलझे नहीं समस्याएं आई मास्टर से डिस्कस किया अपने आप आंसर मिला और लगा कि अब तो अपने प्रेजेंट में रहना है हर चीज को लेट गो कर दो उसका इकट्ठा करेंगे तो इतनी ही डायरी फुल हो जाएगी और क्वेश्चन का आंसर नहीं मिलेगा सो वी हैव टू बी इन आवर प्रेजेंट एंड एंजॉय एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ लाइफ एंड फॉर गेट एवरी बिकॉज इट्स नॉट ईजी बट वेन यू आर स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग मस्ट डू वी विल डू वी कैन डू ये हमारा बियॉन्ड योर माइंड का नारा है और हम इसमें आगे बढ़ रहे हैं थैंक यू मास्टर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच आई अंडरस्टूड यू थिंग यू नो हाउ यू सेड बी काइंड टू योरसेल्फ सो या आई थिंक इज इट ओके पूना सर टू कुड आई आस्क यू टू क्विकली समराइज अ लिटिल बिट व्हाट शी मेंशन थैंक यू थैंक यू सर सर मैम for wonderfully sharing your experience o oh, fir wapas wahi gol gol ghumna hi aata hai par ye that's the same thing like uh, saroj ma'am told uh, based on uh, mom's experience har ek maa ka experience jo bhi hai sab forgiveness hi hai kyunki forgiveness maa se acha koi kar bhi nahi sakta hai kyunki apne bachchon ke sath to सब कुछ लेट गो करता है अच्छा करो बुरा करो उसे कोई लेना देना नहीं है माँ को काम क्यों सर पूर्णा सर क्यों एक बार थोड़ा सा माँ के स्वभाव का बात करते हैं ना पूर्णा सर ऐसा क्यों है कि माँ ही क्षमा कर सकती है बाकी लोगों में ये क्यों नहीं आता एक बार कंपेयर करके देखते हैं ना ऐसे माँ में ऐसा क्या गैजेट लगा हुआ है थोड़ा <laughs> सब जानते हैं पर फिर भी मैं बात करना चाहती हूँ ऐसे माँ के पास ऐसा कौन सा स्विच है जो वो ऑन कर देती है और प्यार 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 तो सबके पास है ना हम सब प्यार करते हैं ना एक दूसरे को एक्सप्रेस नहीं करते हैं हाँ जी एक्सप्रेस नहीं करते हैं मैम एक्सप्रेस वो जो अनकंडीशनल लव जो करेंगे ना फिर सिर्फ प्रेस करना है तो सरोज मैडम आज से करना शुरू कर देंगे नहीं मैं जानना चाहती हूँ हम सब कह देते हैं बहुत इजिली माँ है कुछ भी कर सकती है क्यों ऐसी कौन सी खासियत है माँ में कि माँ सब कुछ कर सकती है और बाकी लोग नहीं कर सकते क्यों मतलब माँ माँ एक औरत माँ के रोल में ही कर सकती है और बाकी रोल में क्यों इतना फर्क आ जाता है अगर हम ये बात जान पाए तो मेरे ख्याल से ये पूरी गुत्थी सुलझ जाएगी हाँ सही है yes. 
आई थिंक अपना अपन अपना हाँ ये बात अच्छी लगी <laughs> अपनापन मतलब जो yes. अपने हैं वो कुछ भी करे तो हम ठीक हम मान जाते हैं हमें बुरा नहीं लगता यही ना yes. अपनापन मतलब मुझे अच्छा लगा रजनी मैडम अपनापन ये मेरे हैं ठीक है गलती भी कर दिया तो क्या हो गया मेरे हैं हमारी धरती माँ भी हमें ऐसे ही क्षमा करती है ना ये मेरे हैं मेरे ना? मेरे, मेरे हैं इसलिए कोई बात नहीं गलती तो क्षमा करती आ रही है हमारी धरती माँ तो सोचते हैं ना फिर ये अपना पन ही अगर इतना बड़ा डिफरेंस लाता है तो रजनी मैडम ने जो कहा अपना पन उसको हम और थोड़ा एक्सटेंड क्यों नहीं कर सकते क्यों नहीं हम सबको उस अपना पन में अपना पन के घेरे में ला सकते हैं सरोज मैडम आपका क्या कहना है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैम बिल्कुल आप तो ऑलवेज राइट right. <laughs> और आपसे बढ़ के हम निकल रहे हैं कि हमें पता पड़ रहा है एक माँ के अंदर से जो माँ हमें एक्सप्रेस करती है वही तो हम देखते हैं और वही हम सीखते चले जाते हैं तो अपनापन तो वही पैदा हो गया ना आज किसी को भी देखते हैं कुछ करते देखते हैं तो दिल से ब्लेसिंग्स निकलती है पता नहीं क्यों मेडिटेशन में आने के बाद यही लगता है कि कोई बात नहीं वो वो अपना काम आप... कर रहा है मैं अपना काम करूँ ना मैं जो कर सकती हूँ मैं करती है दुआ सबको सरोज मा ये मैम ये अपने yes. अपने बच्चों के अलावा बाकियों को दुआ देती है मैम इतना बड़ा फिफ्टी मेंबर्स के साथ रहना इट्स नॉट प्रैक्टिकल इन लाइफ और अच्छा। सबकी दुआएं भी मिलती है प्यार भी मिलता है और दे एवरीवन नोज यू वेरी वेल बिकॉज यू आर माई क्या कहते हैं ना शिरकत ताज हम सब सीखते हैं और आगे बढ़ते हैं ये हमारी चॉइस है आप हमें चॉइसलेस बना देते हो कि आप अपने लाइफ लाइफ में जो करना चाहते हो करो मैंने तो रास्ता दिखा दिया वैसे ही मैं अपने बच्चों से करती हूँ मैं तुझे बता दी जो दीवरानी है जिठानी है चाची माँ है जो भी चाचा ससुर है हम लोग यही डिस्कस करते हैं भाई अपनी अपनी चॉइस है जिसको करना करो मुझे तो ये अच्छा लगा मैंने शेयर कर दिया और सच में एक्शन का रिएक्शन होता है एक्शन का रिएक्शन होता है मैम और किसी ने दूध का दिया तो आपको क्या करते हैं दूध उसमें गुस्सा आता है बहुत जोर से मगर तुरंत अपने आप से सवाल करती हूँ मेरा कोई चीज उनको फ्रस्ट्रेट किया होगा मेरा कोई इमोशन उनको हावी किया होगा उन्हें लग रहा है वही राइट है और मैं उसमें इंटरफेयर कर रही हूँ तो मैं अपने आप को अपने आप को माफ करती हूँ और उनको भी माफ करती हूँ ये माफ करती का जो वर्ड है ना दिल से निकालती हूँ दिखाती नहीं हूँ मेरे बगल से गया है गॉड ब्लेस यू बस ये इतना कहना ही क्योंकि हम सब भगवान के अवतार बन गए हैं आज हम कहते हैं कि हम सब कुछ अपना हम अपनी लाइफ को खुद क्रिएट करते हैं तो मालूम पड़ गया कि भगवान भी हम ही है आज मैं अपने आप को डिस्ट्रॉय कर लेती हूँ ना पूरा दिन डिस्ट्रॉय रहती हूँ एक लगता है सरोज मैम की जब हम मुझे लगता है कि अब जैसे अपना परिवार है जैसे अपना हाँ। अपना छोटा सा परिवार जो इमीडिएट परिवार है हम हाँ। वहां तक जैसे रजनी मैडम ने कहा अपना पन वहां तक तो अपना पन बहुत मैम आवाज नहीं आ रहा है के बारे में मानवता में कह रही हूँ एक सिर्फ एक ध्यान के बारे में नहीं आवाज नहीं आ रही आई 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 आ रही आवाज नहीं आ रही आ रही या मैं मैं ये कह रही हूँ कि सरोज मैडम जैसे अपना परिवार है इमीडिएट परिवार जैसे अपने हस्बैंड या वाइफ हुए बच्चे हुए तो वो सब अपनापन के घेरे में आ जाता है किसी भी सामान्य हाँ। मानव के लिए मैं ध्यानी के अकेले के बारे में नहीं मैं जनरल पब्लिक के बारे में भी बोल रही हूँ हाँ। तो उस फैमिली के घेरे में अगर पत्नी ने कुछ कह दिया ठीक है थोड़ी देर मुँह फुलाते पर बात अरे जाने दो ये अपनी है बच्चे ने कुछ कह दिया अरे पगला है ये समझता नहीं है लॉन्ग टर्म लॉन्ग टर्म इसको मालूम नहीं है छोटा है हमारे पास हर एक रीजन रेडी है उनको माफ करने के लिए तो अब यही है कि अपनापन का ये दायरा बना बढ़ाना पड़ेगा और मैं यहाँ पर एक बहुत ही दिलचस्प बात आपसे शेयर करना चाहती हूँ मैं इसलिए ये कॉन्वर्जेशन कंटिन्यू कर रही हूँ सरोज मैडम क्योंकि अंग्रेजी में हम लोग बहुत देर बात कर चुके हैं थोड़ा हिंदी में भी बात करें तो अच्छा रहेगा इसलिए आई होप I hope Jaya Madam you're okay with this Hindi conversation I would really like to extend it a little bit further Definitely Yeah go ahead ma'am that's fine thank you Yeah To main aapse ek choti si dilchasp baat jo main share karna chahti hu mere sare doston se ye meri personal experience hai Jab hamare families hote na badi badi families jaise Saroj ma'am ke yahan par 50 log hain 
फैमिली में उनके जेठानी देवरानी सब अब मेरे भी मेरे भी बहुत बड़ी फैमिली है बहुत भाई बहन है सब है शुरू शुरू में ना जब हम उनकी बातों का बुरा मानने लगते हैं तो हमारे पास दो ही चॉइस होते हैं एक तो या तो उनको मुंह तोड़ जवाब दो या फिर चुप रह के अपने अंदर कुड़ कुड़ के मरो हाँ क्योंकि वो हमारे इमीडिएट फैमिली के दायरे में नहीं आते ना तो वो अपनापन अभी तक एक्सटेंड नहीं हुआ है तो इन लोगों के साथ जैसे देवरानी हुई जेठानी हुई उन्होंने कुछ कह दिया तो या तो हम उनसे कुछ कह नहीं पाते और मन ही मन कड़वाहट पैदा करते हैं या फिर अगर हमसे छोटे हुए तो मुंह तोड़ जवाब दे दिया फिर उसके बाद क्या होता है कि रिलेशनशिप में एक दरार सी आ जाती है और अगर अगला आदमी का दिल बड़ा है अगर उसने बुरा नहीं माना तो वो खुद कंटिन्यू करेगा पर इतना मुंह तोड़ जवाब देने के बाद जो दरार आ जाती है ना उसके बाद हमें ही बुरा लगता है कि अरे मैंने ये क्या कर दिया तो यहाँ पर मुद्दे की बात यह है कि ये जो रिश्तेदार तक हम जब बात करते हैं तो हम मेंटेन करना चाहते हैं तो सोचते हैं कि ये रिश्ते मेंटेन करने के लिए हमें हमारा अहम का ये जो दरवाजा है जिसका द्वार बहुत छोटा है उसमें जरा सर झुका के अंदर जाना पड़ेगा तो हम क्या करते हैं अपने एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली से कुछ कह दिया उन्होंने कोई बात नहीं हम थोड़ा अपना अहम झुका के इस दरवाजे से क्योंकि अहम का द्वार बहुत मतलब छोटा होता है इन रिलेशनशिप तो हम ही अपना अहम उस द्वार से झुका के चले जाते हैं और इन प्रकार हम अपने रिश्ते कायम करते हैं और यही बात हमें पूरी दुनिया के साथ करनी है जो हम अपने रिश्तेदारों के साथ लेट गो करते हैं तो वही लेट गो अगर हम थोड़ा और एक्सटेंड करें फिर मुझे लगता है कि पूरी दुनिया हमारी हो जाती है ये मैं पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस से यहाँ पे शेयर कर रही हूँ सरोज मैडम कि ये हमारे निजी जिंदगी में हमेशा होता है थैंक यू मैम आपने बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा शेयर किया है और रियलिटी ऑफ लाइफ यही है और सच में जब तक आप कहते हो कि ध्यान के लिए नहीं ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड में जहां भी जो लोग हैं जिनको हम नहीं जानते हैं सच कहते हैं मैम बिलीव में मैं इतना ही कहूंगी कि जब से हम ध्यान में उतरे ना पहले मेरे में नहीं थी ये कमी थी मगर मैं उतरी हूँ ना तो मैं आज भी मेडिटेशन के पहले और मेडिटेशन के बाद मैं खुद को भी कहती हूँ कि जैसे मेरा मंगल हो रहा है इस समाज का संसार का खनिज पदार्थ का वनस्पति का पेड़ पौधों का जीव जंतुओं का और जो जिन्हें मैं नहीं जानती हूँ सबका मंगल हुए पता नहीं क्यों ये भाषा मैंने आप सबसे ही सीखी है और मैं चाहती हूँ कि इस भाषा पे काम करते हुए मैं ताउम्र अपना काम करूँ और जिससे की मैं खुश हो रही हूँ पता है मुझे किसी का दोष नजर नहीं आता है कभी कभी फ्रस्ट्रेशन आते हैं कुछ नहीं आता है फिर मैं उबले हुए दूध की तरह शांत होकर के फिर से प्यार करने लगती हूँ चाहे वो मेरा दूर का रिश्तेदार हो चाहे वो मेरे पास का जैसे फैमिली में इतनी बड़ी फैमिली थी अब हम लोग सेपरेट होके रहते हैं तो हम लोग जब फैमिली में रहते थे तो प्रॉब्लम आती थी और हम कैसे माफ करना बहुत मुश्किल होता था मगर हम अपने आप को ये दिलाशा देते थे ये अच्छे के लिए कर रहे हैं ना क्योंकि यही सीखा था बचपन से जो भी तुमको सिखाने आता है अच्छे के लिए और वही भावना आज ध्यान के रूप में मास्टर्स के रूप में हम सबके जीवन में उतरी और हम ध्यान के बाद में सच में दिल से यही कहते हैं कि जैसे मेरा मंगल हो रहा है सब का मंगल हो सब सुखी हो सब सुखी हो सब सुखी हो सब रोग मुक्त हो जाए तो ये भावनाएं अंदर से पैदा करनी पड़ती है मैम जैसे बाजार जाना है तो फट से पर्स हुआ और तैयार होकर लेके चले गए पर्स ठीक है तो अपने आप को रेडी किया ना वैसे ही अपने आप को माफी लेने और देने के लिए हर वक्त हम इंसान हैं जो अपने अंदर विवेक रखते हैं और कोई भी नहीं है जो अपने अंदर विवेक रखता है ये इंसानों की प्रवृत्ति है और इसी प्रवृत्ति को जब हम खोने लगते हैं ना मेरा कल होता है कहीं ना कहीं से कोई मसीहा बनकर आता है हम सबके लाइफ में और आकर के हम सबको जागरूक करके चला जाता है वो अवेयरनेस आ जाती है मुझे तो यही फीलिंग हुआ मैम इसलिए मैं आपको शेयर कर रही हूँ थैंक यू मास्टर्स Thank you. You know, masters, why why I extended this topic? Because there is something very important in Saroj Madam's family. We all need to understand that she comes from a Marwadi family. Do you know what is special about Marwadi families? You will see Sorry. big joint families. Yes, yes, joint families. You know, in this era, when people are breaking into nuclear families more and more. you know nobody yeah. wants to live in a joint family children grow up even they want to run away 
my body families pressure. are an example they are the peak of forgiveness how can 50 people live together without saying me mine in one house and considering everyone interest as theirs that is why I extended this conversation with Saroch, madam. She comes from a Marwadi family and forgiveness is their pure base. So my hat's off. I just wanted to share this with everyone. Thank you, Masters. Thank you. Such a wonderful thing to hear about it, ma'am. So nice of you. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm not aware about it. Yeah, thank you so much. Just, right. uh, madam, I want to just add um, anything to along with yes, phone that, sir. Uh, just because, uh, uh, yes, please. I think Rajani uh, ma'am also, yeah, want to know the English translation. Uh, what happens when it comes to mother? Upon upon, this uh, relation is there. That's why mother is able to forgive what our children do or the nearest family. But the same thing happens with the nearest friends also. They, whoever. If your friends matches your mm. frequency, your thought patterns, or your belief system, whoever is nearby, that same thing goes with the nearby friends as well as and in the relatives also, whoever close to your heart or close to your physical relations, they if they yeah. do some mistake, because if they do some mistakes also, we just forgive themselves without without even thinking or even considering that as a mistake, which they had done or which they, if they hurt also also in other ways whatever the reason it is but the same thing which if we done if some other person does the same thing we 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 can't forgive them because those are the feeling of apnapan is not there between them and us that's one of the reason uh, we can't able to forgive because from my experiences before coming to meditation is realism because i Whenever somebody hurt me or somebody in, in verbally or physically, whatever way it, it hurt me, I used to keep instantly, I will, because instantly the ego kick, kicks in, our mind kicks the ego, then it even, evenly and immediately the anger will trigger. The, this is the formation of triggers which I noticed when I, after coming to meditation, when I observed the previous experiences and analyze the previous experience that's what i observed immediately the ego triggers then anger triggers these are the emotions follow one by one to go and then uh, grudge uh, he i need to do something then revenge this these are the things which follow up one by one sequence in a matter of seconds not even minutes or days it, it the trigger will happen in matter of seconds microseconds or milliseconds also it sometimes it will happen that much fast the emotions travel when we are in the when we don't forgive whatever the consequences about the others or the things or the others or whatever it is irrespective but uh, that but fortunately i got that uh, i will trigger anger and thus kind of but fortunately i don't know where i got that knowledge or uh, after a few minutes of uh, one hour I, I've just let go everything. Naturally, my from my body, it will be released. I don't know how it happened or how these things happened. After one hour, if, based on the situation, sometimes it will be a couple of hours. Sometimes if it is a small one, one hour, a big one is a couple of hours. But after a couple of hours, if, if I observe the things, some after a year or after a one couple of months, even I can't recollect that situation also sometimes. But... Some things will not be will be in the in our mind where you go keep on remember remembering the things uh, that guy did something some time ago some specific things but most of the things uh, somehow it it's been dissolved uh, completely so that I can't even recollect the situations also somehow I don't know why even but after coming to med uh, meditation starting the meditation when I observed what what's how it happened. I don't know the reason what why it have how it happened, but I I can say that uh, uh, so this is the situation this this is the emotions triggering happening during the if you don't forgive people instantly because we because we don't when we are not be in the present moment we can't forgive anyone even us also not even us we can't forgive ourselves because 
forgiving forgiving others is, others is little bit easy but forgiving our self is the very 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 toughest job, toughest thing which we need to calculate every day in our life thank you jay madam thank you masters thank you saraja ma thank you thank you so much punna sir yeah that was in my mind you know i was about to um ask you know once she finishes the conversation but it's already been answered you know that's true when when it comes to forgiveness so with the dear and near us so it's easy but you know someone who don't match with our uh, like frequency sometimes it's a bit hard it take a while to uh, forgive them and to move on so yeah it is beautiful as you mentioned yeah so maybe in that again the oneness comes you know as we like we need to see everyone as us so like uh, so when we see them as ourselves then we it's it's very easy to forgive so yeah that was beautiful thank you so much i think there's people more raising yes uh, now i mean sir yeah your hand is raised would you like to share something uh i think uh, uh, vijaya madam has raised the voice i already spoke enough so maybe i can speak after her ah uh, okay yeah no worries uh, vijaya kumari vinukonda please over to you ma'am namaste ma'am how are you namaste madam thank you thank you namaste saraja madam and all masters wish you all a happy mother's day thank you ma wish you the same all masters that they uh, all things um, about forgiveness but i want to share you some my experiences yes. according to the, this uh, forgiveness in my life so many situations are in my life but when i face any problem first i think um how to handle that so if anyone blames me or insults me hurts me then first i think what is the mistake i have done if there is any mistake i have done then i if i recognize my fault my mistake then ask them to excuse me agar mujh mein koi bhi galti nahi hai to i i want to convince them what is uh, why they insult me why they hurt me what is their uh, intention what is my mistake according to themselves if they convince me and tell me what is mistake i have done then i accept it then it is over is tar kisi se rishte nibhane mein my Uh, first i i think about myself if there is any mistake if it is not i ask them what is my mistake in that way i have gone through all this life so forgiveness means once uh, i heard that uh, patriji sir said how do we implement forgiveness in our lives in one interview in pmc he said forgiving um, is not correct word forgetting forgetting is correct word i i want to uh, implement this in my life but forgiving and forgetting also very difficult to me if anyone hurts us how can we forget that um uh, if we remember that thing we are already emotionally and sentimentally feel either guilty or uh, um, aggressiveness and humko un par bahut krodh aate hai kyon wo log hame aisa kaha so agar hum dusron ko maaf karna chahte hai to ego arise hoti hai अहंकार पैदा होता है हम ग्रेटर देन दोज पीपल दे डन मिस्टेक सो वी वी हैव टू फॉर गिव दैम दैट इज वन टाइप इफ वी फेल्ट आवर सिन इज देयर आवर मिस्टेक इज देयर वी फील वी फील गिल्टी सो जस्ट व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज 
I analyze that situation. Why they talk like that? In which situation? In when? In which mental condition? And uh, I analyze that condition, and then I come to an uh, uh, understanding. So then I uh, continue. Uh, whether if I want to continue that relation, I continue. If it is not correct, I avoid it. Like this way, I am coming uh, to these all difficulties, forgiving or uh, asking excuse or giving for um, excuse is uh, sometimes very difficult, madam. So uh, analyzing and uh, come to uh, one clarity. So um, let it go. They are also um, human beings. We are all come to this world for our divine plan, for experiences only. Mistakes are done by all, all of us. So we take it easy and forget that emotions. We don't forget that situations are uh, uh, that uh, words, but we can control our mind by setting our mindset um, to avoid those feelings, emotions. Whenever we remember that situation, that bad uh, words and that uh, hurts, we just uh, don't go through all the emotions uh, which occurred before. So we, I think it is better <laughs> to let it go by analyzing but not work, uh, simply say, let it go, uh, forget. Uh, it is not easy. By analyzing that situations, why are they doing like that? Why are you, why are they talking like that? If there is any mistake in us, we, we must uh, um, uh, make it correct. If there is any mistake in others, we can, we cannot control other feelings or other words. Uh, situations are not uh, in our hands. So many difficulties come into our life day by day. So many new persons come to in our life. Our uh, family, our neighbors, a relations bahut thoda khatin hai. Usko nibhana jirur hai. Agar hamare daant hamare jeep ko karte hai to ham un daanton ko fold karna ki fengte. Ye bhavna ham apna ne se pahle hamare sirir next family, next society. I say we expand our thoughts. Ko. We can uh, somewhere adjust ourselves with those circumstances, those persons. Thank you, madam. I think so. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, uh, Vijay Kumari, ma'am. Yeah, you wonderfully said, you know, forgiveness is not easy, but rather forget. That's the beautiful thing you mentioned here. Yeah, when we forget things in the past, so then we don't uh, need to have that forgiveness. Maybe we, we always say that we are in the present moment. If we are in the present moment, that past things won't, uh, you know, um, trick our mind, you know, to have all these things, all these emotion triggers and all. So, yeah, I think, yeah, when we forget everything and being in the present moment, uh, that is the best way. So I think in that case, we don't even need to forgive. So if there is no past things and if we have forgotten that, moment so it's gone that's it yeah it's beautifully said ma'am thank you so much for your input uh, uh, yes Naveen sir would you like to add your points anything yes yes uh, I think Vijaya madam said really really well I completely forgot about uh, <laughs> actually okay. dealing with the real <laughs> the real yes. no 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 the dealing with the real life right usually what happens yes. the more spiritual topics and more engagements we get into uh, we completely forget about the human angle completely right um, so assume that i am having some trouble with someone and then it is better to discuss with him right that is actually an opportunity for both of us to actually learn from that, right? Yes, Maybe yes. there is something that I can learn from this, right? Or there is something that I'm giving an offering to the other person to learn from this, right? We are completely missing this learning opportunity by not being honest with ourselves and honest with the other people, right? Yes. So that I completely forgot because uh, most of my early part of the teachings were completely talking about uh, 
engage engage with life see the life very very closely what you are avoiding what you are actually getting attracted to right and try to understand what why these things are happening right so a very well said <laughs> so that is one point the other point is regarding the some of this uh, uh, unconditional love forgiveness these are the actually some of the great attributes of saints sages we have done lot of inner work so those things are actually not actually relevant for us in a way humko shobha nahi deta hai why say words because there is so much work we need to do to get to there right so assume that if i keep those ideals in front of me right then i cannot forgive myself right i am compa- i am continuously comparing again against that ideal like i am not able to forgive i am not able to this right it is better to actually accept where we are right in a way Uh, so for example at one time i had a huge argument with my spouse i was so 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 frustrated and so much suffering within but at the same time the other side i want to unconditionally love her right so i just put a quick uh, youtube search keyword unconditional i want to have an unconditional love in my life right then it said that un- unconditional love means enlightenment <laughs> mukti only when you actually are liberated then you can actually achieve unconditional love right so these are the things that are challenging we are, we assume that these things are naturally very easy right but i think as vijay madam said first you have to accept that uh, yes something is bothering us right and be- better to talk with them sometimes some people are open to have that discussion some people are not open for that discussion so we have to actually honor what they are actually asking right they don't want to have this discussion so we can actually ignore and see that what is how are you can avoid in the future right in a way yeah uh, and just another point is about uh, 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 as uh, uh, saroja ma'am said about the mother right apna uh, apan so uh, sadguru actually uh, i joined one of the courses and he mentioned that can you contemplate of being in a mother role to the whole planet to the whole earth can you just sit i know that it is almost impossible you can't be act as a mother for the whole world right a whole planet but can you just sit in that position for few seconds to see even what does that mean <laughs> so uh, so that is that much challenging it is to to love unconditionally everyone right is what yes. i want to say that's all yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so much for your valuable insights sir thank you so much uh, uh just Deepthi ma'am, uh, Saroj ma'am, I'll, uh, I think Deepthi ma'am also has put up her hand. So I'll invite Deepthi ma'am and then I'll go with uh, Saroj ma'am. Thank you over to you, Deepthi ma'am. Thank you so much for joining. Hi there, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, Deepthi ma'am. Uh, namaste, all masters. Wishing you a very happy Mother's Day. It's Thank really you. beautiful uh, topic, uh, Jaya ma'am. For yesterday mm-hmm. night only we had class uh, about the noise over divinity to one of his children was show. Yeah. So really I felt happy like we all are uh, here discussing that it's our uh, one of the master have mentioned that forgiveness, acceptance, love. This is what our true nature. That means we all are divine. That is uh, the true nature we all talking about. Right. So actually yeah. this is what I'm explaining to the children and I'm explaining like how Saroja ma'am uh, mentioned that when we Uh, possess all these qualities automatically our higher vibe that we will get the power of uh, forgiving the others so that wisdom what we take and how to practice that's what all the know your divinity class is about yeah, as you know why we are getting separated with oneself then i really felt surprised i asked up after the class what did you learn one of the boy told i loved how to be kind to myself how to be loving to myself so that i can forgive others and i can love someone yes. see children Mm. He's so smaller than us, right? Very young, maybe yes. hardly ten or eleven years. See, getting the right knowledge at the right age and whatever like we are acquiring here, that really yes. helps masters. As we all mentioned, don't ever think that forgiving is difficult. Why we have to keep that in the mind first of all? Why we have to keep? See, we all here with some purpose. We all know it's uh, and everyone will get the time. like uh, when to get this uh, holistic wisdom so as saroja ma'am always say that it's all your free will also so this is where the ego mind comes into the picture what you want to choose which uh, which path you want to choose so it's all in within us masters but in my practical uh, uh, experience i am telling like uh, the others are already uh, shared uh, the forgiveness prayer really yeah. i did that 
I really did that. And I see myself, how compassionate I became. It is true, Master. It's my experience. Yes. So yes. let's not uh, leave whatever the whatever we discussed with this session itself. Once the session yes. is over also, I request everyone, you know, in the morning that open our prayer, uh, maybe we can share also, uh, Jaya Madam. That really yes. created wonders in my life. I was really surprised to see how come I become so compassionate? Yeah, I know. I, I This is my divine plan. Uh, I know that it's all karma. That's why I'm getting all these problems. I have to face the challenge. But I did not get stuck there. Yeah. I thought, I, I thought like, let's uh, try this. Just like an experiment. But within a few days, I can see the change within myself. Really. Really, mm -hmm. I felt so much lovable. I was really surprised. How could I accept whatever the pain I'm facing? How could I accept that? that's what the question I got myself and I really felt because of that vibrations or whatever Saroja ma'am said that that really changed the situation around me mm -hmm. so what I want to say is uh, don't give chance to our ego mind it always yeah. say that it's, uh, it is difficult it's not possible we are not saints we are not sages we are living in practical life this is what it will feed you but yeah. choose what is right, what is giving you happiness. It's all within our uh, hands only, Jaya Madam. Yes, and yes. Uh, this is what I want to share here because I practically experienced it with, because of that confidently I'm saying it. Definitely. So that's what I want to say. And I really became lovable to the person who, who I thought that I hate them. <laughs> I never, <laughs> never forgive them in my life. Actually, my, my personality is not that I will forgive very easily. But mm -hmm. some situations comes in life, daily life challenges. But yeah. really turned then, like Ravini sir said that, that learning factor, I understood, okay, I got this experience so that to have that patience in me. So this is a part of my divine plan. That is how divine. the cycle, that is how the time took for me. So that is what I wanted to say. Thanks for giving the opportunity. Actually, I thought of sharing some story. Yeah, yeah. Madam, you can share we, if we are yeah, out of the time. time. Uh, maybe yeah, yeah, later you can. please. Yeah, maybe after Saroj, ma'am, it would be nice yeah. Yeah, if you could yes, share. Yes. That's thank wonderful, deep ma'am. Yeah, it, yeah, as uh, the goddess said, mention, mention those three things, you know, thank you, I love you. And so I'm so sorry, you know. And we have and, uh, one more thing I want to tell you while doing this prayer. Actually, yeah. I don't know that one hour meditation. Um, after immediate, this is my personal, after immediately uh, doing this practice in the morning meditation, I received a message in form that forgiveness is what? Okay, you're forgiving them. Next moment, when you remember that situation, your mind will repeat it because we all used it. Make mm -hmm. sure that you forgive them completely with the heart. Don't ever repeat that situation, even this in your self-talk also. Don't ever discuss whatever happened to anyone. Have that determination within yourself this, this is the second point i want to add my you got right sometimes a situation Thank happened you. so when we remember situation or we, when sometimes we express that to many people right make sure that yeah. what kind of feeling you have in your heart so that much awareness we should have must matter but i yeah. uh, with all these things it really works wonder and we really feel peace and also the situation around us will change thank you jen Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, as you mentioned, you know, when we think it's a different power, then when we put it in words and share with someone else, it's a different energy form. Uh, so it's really apt for the time because I needed that one. So thank you so much for that uh, input, Deepthi ma'am. Um, yes, now I'll call Saroj ma'am. Yes, over to you, Saroj ma'am. I think you put your hands raised. Yeah. ये ये जो सबने अपने व्यू दिए सबने बताया सबका अपना अपना व्यू है मगर इसमें एक चीज और मैं ऐड करना चाहूंगी जो मैंने रियल में अपने लाइफ से सीखा है जैसा कि मैम ने बोला कि इतने लोगों के बीच में रह के सेपरेट तो हम अभी दो साल से हुए हैं सारी जिंदगी 60 58 इयर्स तो हमने वही निकाले हैं तो हम एक स्पेशल चीज शेयर कर रहे हैं माय डियर फ्रेंड्स डोंट टेक मी रॉन्ग जैसे हम एक डॉक्टर के पास जाते हैं और डॉक्टर के पास जाते हैं और डॉक्टर हमें चेकअप करता है और हम संतुष्ट हो जाते हैं अगर ज्यादा दवा लिख देता है तो हम बड़े खुश होते हैं और जहाँ कम दवा लिखता है लगता है बेकार है डॉक्टर ये मेरा प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं समझा ये हम सब की लाइफ में मेरे साथ तो बहुत होता था छोटे थे तब तो आज मैं यही शेयर करूंगी कि जैसे उस डॉक्टर की दवा पे इतना विश्वास करके हम कहते थे तो आज हम अपने 
ध्यान पे अपने इनर कॉन्शियस पे इनर चाइल्ड पे इससे मिल करके हमें ये पता पड़ा कि हम भी खुद अपनी लाइफ के डॉक्टर हैं हमें एवरी डे नाइट में एक चार्ट बनाना होगा जो होल डे हमने किया फिजिकली मेंटली इमोशनली एंड स्पिरिचुअली तो ये चारों जो प्रोसेस है अगर हम करते हैं ना माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इसके बाद तो हमें कुछ भी कहने और सुनने की जरूरत नहीं होती क्योंकि जो कुछ हमने दिन भर में फेस किया उसको रात को लिखा और नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग में उसको पढ़ा और जब हम पढ़ते हैं ना तो उसमें एक्सेप्टेंस सरेंडर सब भावना आ जाती है अवेयरनेस क्योंकि हम जो फेस करके जो होल डे हमने तकलीफ मिली थी उसको हम आज के दिन नहीं कैद करेंगे और उसको अवॉइड करेंगे उन सिचुएशन को जो हमें कल के दिन परेशानी दी थी तो ये चार्ट अगर हम बना लेते हैं ना तो मेरे दोस्तों इसके बाद हमें कुछ सोचने की जरूरत नहीं वी ऑल आर द डिवाइन सोल और हमें पता है हम डिवाइन सोल है मगर नहीं जानते थे जब तक अपने की पढ़ाई नहीं की खुद की पढ़ाई नहीं की नहीं समझ पाए और आज ये चैप्टर्स को टॉपिक को जितना ज्यादा हम बढ़ा सकते हैं हम बढ़ा सकते हैं सब क्योंकि हम सब इस फेज से गुजरे हैं और जब जब हम हमने ये चार्ट बनाना शुरू किया मैं मिनिमम ट्वेंटी वन डेज तक ये अगर हम बना लेते हैं ना हमारी लाइफ स्वर्ग से सुंदर है कोई बुरा नहीं है किसी से माफी नहीं लेना किसी को माफ नहीं करना क्यों क्योंकि हमने अपने को जान लिया दैट्स ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सरोज मैम या गंगा दस सर या so beautiful but i didn't understand much but yeah the way she expressed itself it was beautiful yeah i think ganga the sir i saw your hand raised so sir ganga sir sir i mean jo kaha tha na chart i did not get it aap do vakyon mein fir se bataiye na aap kya keh rahe hain can i see yes sir i mean please जैसे डॉक्टर के पास हम जाते हैं तो प्लस का साइन देखते हैं और वो जाके हम देखते हैं कि प्लस में चार खान है चार खन बने हुए हैं तो हम अपना डेली लाइफ का फिजिकली मेंटली इमोशनली और स्पिरिचुअलिटी में आके हमने क्या सीखा उसका एवरी डे एक रिटर्न प्रोसेस करेंगे घर के एक्सपेंस का हम अकाउंट बनाते हैं दिन भर बच्चों के लिए हम सोचते हैं कि उसे ये बनाना है उसका ब्राइट फ्यूचर हमारे हाथ में है मगर हम अपनी लाइफ का अकाउंट बना लेना तो सब कुछ बना हुआ है फिजिकल में हमारे साथ आज सुबह से क्या हुआ किस कारण से हुआ मेंटल में हमको क्या डिस्टर्ब किया और इमोशनल से किसी ने मेरे साथ ऐसा व्यवहार किया तो क्यों ऐसा हुआ तो ये तीन चीज पे हम काम कब कर सकते हैं जब हम अपने आप को टोटली सरेंडर करेंगे कि यूनिवर्स में जो कुछ भी हो रहा है जो कुछ मैंने थ्रो किया था लाइक अ बॉल वो मुझे वापस मिल रहा है तो किसी के प्रति कोई शिकायत नहीं रहेगी कोई हमारे मन में गिर्ट की भावना नहीं रहेगी या इसने मेरे साथ ऐसा किया या मैंने उसके साथ ऐसा किया तो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स एवरी डे मेक अ चार्ट फिजिकल मेंटल इमोशनल एंड स्पिरिचुअलिटी में आके क्या लर्न किया पता पड़ा वी ऑल आर अ डिवाइन सोल हम सबको प्यार कर सकते हैं मगर हमारी बिहेवियर के कारण हमारे नेचर के कारण हमारे सुपर ईगो के कारण हम उसको आगे नहीं बढ़ने देते तो हम सब सरेंडर करके एक्सेप्ट करने लगते हैं और अवेयरनेस तो आ ही जाती है तो यही हमें चार्ट बनाना है फिजिकल मेंटल इमोशनल एंड स्पिरिचुअल तो ये चार्ट बनते ही एवरी डे नाइट उसको रीड करना है और नेक्स्ट सॉरी नाइट को हमने चार्ट बनाना है और मॉर्निंग में उसको रीड करना है जिसे हम होल डे उस पर वर्क करेंगे कि हमसे जो मिस्टेक कल हुई यस्टरडे वॉट है आज ना हो टूडे नहीं हो क्योंकि हमारा हम तो सब राइजिंग स्टार हैं और जैसे चांद और सूरज आसमान में रोशनी देते हैं ना डियर फ्रेंड्स उनको देख के हमें लगता है हम किसी सितारे से कम नहीं है वी ऑल आर राइजिंग स्टार पग पग पर हमें लेसन मिलता है हर टाइम जरूरत है अपने आप को अवेयर रखने की बस चार्ट बनाइए और लाइफ में आगे बढ़ जाइए मास्टर्स है ना हमें गाइड करने के लिए बस एंजॉय थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू धन्यवाद <laughs> Ganga the sir it's over to you sir thank you thank you ma'am for giving the opportunity once again um i wanted to tell uh yes uh, uh like i see her like master saying it's very difficult uh, to be in that unconditional love to forgive everyone um 
Yeah, it's difficult. Yes, uh, it's difficult to stay in that mode all the time. But we are learning step by step. Um, so we only have two choices. Either we forgive and go peace with it or we suffer. So as ma'am told in principles of creation, our well-being is important. For that only we are forgiving. So either we suffer, either we have deal with our situations or we just get out of it through forgiveness because mind keeps on repeating that like other day once my friend was telling like we did this mistake few years ago and we keep on discussing that every time we talk oh we did that so that guiltness so because mind keeps on repeating that mistake again and again and again either the mistake we have done or the mistake others have done so at least we can say okay we have accepted our mistake once Let's not repeat that in our mind or to our to our talks. It might be self talk or to talk with our family and friends about that mistake which we have done or others have done. So the mind has this thing like keep on repeating like a movie, repeated movie again and again and again, which creates a lot of suffering to ourselves as well as others in the environment. So at least we can try like a little by little. At least. Say if unconditional love we are discussing unconditional love is the only uh, experience by sages but at least we can experience a few seconds not the whole day we can experience few seconds when that moment when we had decided to forgive ourselves or someone else we might experience that and what Saroj ma'am was telling about that accountability is that awareness if we are able to stay in that awareness only then we can experience that. If we, because now it is when I, I can easily tell in my thoughts whether it's ego which is telling me to act in that way or is it not necessary because ego keeps on judging me as well as others. This might be not right. Or how can they behave? Uh, there can be situations where in our life where we have done some mistake and we get away with it, but we are getting something from other direction. Then we think, oh, we didn't do anything. Why is they, they are behaving for me? But we have done something in the other direction, which we keep conveniently forget. But universe is sending only that energy through other direction to balance it. So that's when that we are able to understand that. We are in that awareness. Then we are able to forgive ourselves and others also. So whatever is happening is just in that cycle it is happening. So if we are able to that then we are able to, yeah, so we only have two choices, either to suffer or handle with it. At least when we are suffering, we, we should, be able, should be able to be happy with it. Happy with the suffering, okay, this is my thing. But we are, sometimes we are not able to handle that as well. We are not, we are overwhelmed with suffering. That's when actually we are, we are forced into forgiveness. And maybe we don't need to wait till that which fills into that bottle, keep on filling, suffering, filling, filling, till it overflows and we are no longer able to handle that. That's when we look into other roots because we are lucky that we are into this path. Maybe before we fill our full, got full of that bottle, we keep on now trying to reduce that in our thing, cleansing ourselves with these um, concepts. Thank you. Thank you, dear madam. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you so much, uh, Ganga. This sir, uh, that's lovely <laughs> explanation again. Um, so could I ask uh, the ma'am to share the story before we conclude our session? I think it would be appropriate. Thank you, Deepthi ma'am. Ma'am Harita, ma'am, please say something. Please oh, sorry. share. Sorry, Harita. <laughs> sorry. Uh, hi, madam. Hi. Uh, hi, ma'am. Madam. Harita, ma'am. Uh, hi, yes, Harita, ma'am. She didn't put the hand raised. Sorry about that, Harita. Yes, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I did a hand raise. Sorry, sorry. I actually, I joined yeah. in the middle. I don't know the topic also. So, I am thinking you were uh, some surrenderness and what is the topic going it on? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Oh, for oh okay. Yeah. Forgiveness. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. I am practicing to forgiveness already. Okay. In my daily life, <laughs> to forgive all the things, and uh, I am in meditation also. Whomever I teach 
i am telling them to forgive yourself and uh, but mainly i am myself i am um, learning myself when i do something wrong i am forgiving myself first okay this mistake is done i no need to lack this one i have to forgive myself then i have to go it's okay everything is okay mistake is done done in the, sometimes we do mistakes correct with mistakes and we have to forgive ourselves we have to forgive others also so we don't know in which chakra they are and which janma are they are in their life cycle so we have to forgive whatever it is thank you that is my definition thank you sir ma'am um, thanks a lot thank, thank you. you for your input thank you. yeah thank you Thank you. Uh, yeah, could you ask uh, Deepthi, ma'am? Yeah, it's over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Jay, ma'am, for giving the opportunity. Really, very nice conversation. Discussion is going on. <laughs> it's yeah, uh, always you. the Sanjas helps us to remind. <laughs> Sometimes we are carried away with our routine life. So like this discussion really helps us to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here I want to share, like, Ajni, madam, was asking the question. Sometimes even I ask myself. Uh, Though we practice many things, still life goes so many challenges in some way. Like that's how sometimes I'm thinking. So then I got, came through this beautiful story I would like to share. So there are two French masters, very thick and different. So they've grown up from childhood. So after uh, many years when they are grown up, what happens is one guy is earning, both are earning money nicely. One guy spends money lavishly, whatever he wants to fulfill. Desire, he may go to party, he will buy luxury things, everything. He will enjoy every day. He will enjoy every he will enjoy every day and every moment. He just wants to live his life for a moment. Uh, so that is how he spends. By the uh, end of the day, what he do is that whatever he will earn, he will spend for his own uh, whatever to fulfill his wishes. On the other side, other guy, he always thinks about the life, uh, the values, everything, and he don't spend much money. But he's okay. So every day, evening, he do some surveys. He go to some holistic learning like that. So that's how he spends. Then the other friend says that, "Hey, why are you wasting your time? We all, we all are tank. You have so much time to do all this. This life is all about enjoyment. I know you also have a lot of things here in our mind, but you are simply wasting the time." He, this guy will I uh, see his life. He is also happy that way. Then he might be thinking, yeah, why can't I try? But so they they both will decide to meet at one place. Uh, so to discuss more on this, which one is best? Who is leading a best life? That is what the question both uh, want to discuss. So they will meet. Actually, they decided to meet at one place. So that uh, the the guy who is spends lavishly, he will be waiting near a tree. Uh, there he find uh, two gold coins. He feels so happy. Oh wow. Uh, I'm so lucky. See, so luck always follows me. Here also, I got money. Then other side, the other friend, he when he was walking, he will be hit with some big stone. He uh, his leg will get hurt, uh, and mm -hmm. the bleeding starts. Not a very big wound, but a little wound. So then the other friend laughs. See, you are practicing everything I told you, right? What is that helping you? I got money, and uh, you got uh, the wound. At least now you wake up. Wake up. That's what he said. Then uh, the other friend don't agree. He want. Uh, he did not uh, satisfied with the answer. And sometimes he feels that yeah, why am I getting always challenges? I am in the right path, right? Still, he got the money. Here also, I got that wound. That is what uh, sometimes we think, right, masters? So he said, why again the pain to me? Only we need to uh, clarify this question. So they both went to the sage, and they put this question. Why he both are okay, but he is spending and he is always happy. Other side, I am following all the right his path, and uh, he, I am getting only the pain every time. Then the sage uh, asks them to sit for a minute, and then he will tell. Yes, the rich guy or whoever spending the money in his past life, he did many good things. He did many good things. So that good, uh, whatever good deeds uh, he did, in the form of the, all the money abundance, whatever the, he is uh, you know, right right now, uh, like uh, experimenting or experiencing, he got it from his good deeds. But now, what is he doing in the present? He is taking up all the bad karmas. That is the free will. He ha so actually he is he as per the good deeds, whatever he did in the previous life, he should get a pot of gold coins. 
that he deserves the pot of gold coin by this time but because of his choices in his life because he's not thinking about anything only about him not uh, following anything is just for whatever the free will he has he just mm-hmm. got two coins but he is deserved to get a big pot of gold that's how he missed whatever we are he's uh, doing in the present thing that is what all the good karma is draining up then coming to you actually you have to met up with a big accident but now that gone with a little uh, whatever the stone but right now you are also in this moment also in this life also you have chosen a right path because of that you still have that compassion love everything with you so now choice is yours what you want to try so always the universe is ready to give you whatever you wish to and it's all your choices that you take up in your life so that is what i want to share jay and here also the same thing whether you want to forgive or you don't want to forgive or you want to surrender you want to act it's all our choice so we have to keep this in our moment that whatever the action we take in this moment it reflects that's what yeah. i want to share thank you jay <laughs> thank you thank you so much yeah that was a beautiful yeah story yeah as you said it's everything is our free will and our choice what to choose what not to choose um i think that was a beautiful appropriate story and another input to take away um i think yeah we are almost close to the time to conclude the session i harita ma'am you put your hand raise would you like to share something oh it was wait wait oh, ma'am ma'am jaya ma'am one thing actually she didn't yes. raise her hand that time but i saw her face yeah. that something want to share okay. that's why i said say 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 something sorry for that <laughs> it's okay okay, okay no uh-huh. thank you so deepthi madam said the story right that's why that's what yes. i raised the hand um, okay uh, so the, the first guy uh, the, the bad guy is uh, happy now whatever he, he got and this guy is the already the good guy is complaining so he is complaining so he is getting the same thing back the mm. universe is whatever we think the universe will give three times for us so here the law of attraction is working so we have to think carefully what we want that's what i want to share with you thank you thank you thank you so much harita ma'am thank you ma'am one important oh. thing i want to share yes, please, please allow me just yeah. hindi mein main bol rahi hu agar sir koi hai explain kar sake english mein jaise idhar baja idhar saja to udhar baja action ka reaction jo kuch bhi hota hai na jaise hum agar achhi bhavna rakhte hain to samne wale pe effect aayega इसीलिए हम हिंदी में कहते हैं कि इधर बजा उधर सजा यहाँ जो कुछ भी बैड थॉट्स रनिंग हो रहा है सामने वाले पे इफेक्ट आएगा वेदर आपके डेली लाइफ में आपके मेड सर्वेंट्स हो आपके चिल्ड्रेन हो आपके सराउंडिंग जो पर्सन हो जो भी हो तो जरूरी है इसको प्योर रखना ना तो प्योर रखने के लिए तो अपना अकाउंट बनाएंगे हम थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सरज मैम Yes, uh, I think it's time for us to conclude the session. Um, thank you, every master who have joined and made this sanghas beautifully moved. Uh, and you know, it was such a beautiful discussion. And uh, without your support, uh, support it would not be possible. And thank you so much, Purna sir, for the technical support behind uh, the sanghas and Ganga sir, um, for your time. and all the master especially every time i wanted to say a big thank you to navina ma'am who has been doing the um flyer for us uh, so every time when i ask for it you know the next moment she'll send it in time so i just sincerely give my gratitude to navina ma'am in this um, state uh, and also i wish everyone have a happy mothers day and wonderful afternoon or morning or good night you. wherever you are from Uh, again i would like to give my gratitude to our beloved saroja ma'am who had given us this wonderful platform to share our insights and you know our perspectives on uh, different uh, uh, topics like this me me pp pp so um i'm again i'm really really heartfully thankful to every one of you who have joined and made this sangha successful for today 
and thank you everyone ma'am 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 one minute one minute ma'am sita ma'am is coming here just now please call okay. her for a single minute just please yes hello Good. everyone yeah, ma'am hello everyone Hi, love you how are you yes this call how oh, yes ma'am really happy and fine and yeah. conversation these points are very helpful for me right now uh in the, in the present scenario and circumstances i am working in the bank so i am facing some yeah. kind of uh, our day to day life uh, some kind of things are going on so at that time how to forgive others uh, how to take the things so i should not carry the emotions like complaining or criticism so i have to be witness i have learned that point especially right now and uh, happy mothers day to everyone saroja ma'am happy mothers day saroj ma'am love you so much <laughs> love you. you love you so much <laughs> thank you yeah. so much for your wonderful uh -huh. smile and wishes thank you sita ma'am <laughs> all right thank you. Um, love you all. Yeah. Uh, one important uh, exercise I have gone through. Yes. Ma'am, one minute. Uh, yes, one exercise I have gone through about forgiveness. Uh, that hopono hopono prayer. Uh, I was sitting the uh, to forgive someone actually. Some someone did very wrong to me, and I was just carrying. I don't want to carry that energy, and I just want to forgive and let go of about that person. uh i sat down for forgiveness about him about that person but uh, i uh, when i started to forgive that person slowly that uh, uh i am sorry please forgive me i love you thank you slowly it comes and uh, to uh, that focus i have uh, i have given my energy my consciousness to there that consciousness slowly is coming towards me slowly i felt like oh yes uh, this is all happening just because of me i am i am telling all those words all those phrases to myself i felt it uh, practically ma'am when i sat down uh, into meditation and i started to do this exercise uh, slowly that person gone away in from my mind that scenario those thoughts negative thoughts and the feeling i was feeling very low energy wise and again slowly that focus came to me and i'm forgiving myself and slowly started crying oh my god self have given the chance to that person to hurt me so i have to give much importance to myself I have to give much importance uh, i have to give respect to myself i started that uh, feeling so those phrases are for myself forgiveness is not for others forgiveness is oh, yes. for myself that i have started this is my experience now. that focus comes to us that uh, what energy we have given to outward consciousness is gone to somewhere but the moment we do forgiveness that consciousness comes to us and we feel like we ourselves or one with ourselves yes thank you so much thank you everyone for for you are giving this one opportunity for me thank you thank you, you, thank you all you, um, yeah i think ganga the sir and deepthi ma'am they are practicing and they just said the same how you practice <laughs> the how they yeah. felt the transformation yeah that was beautiful you keep it up thank you so much saroj ma'am would you like to say something or yeah she is my daughter <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> so you, everyone is your daughter i know actually, i actually yeah no no actually i met her with her in meditation and every time she is oh. calling me mom, mom mom and giving lots of love and affections so that's <laughs> why i call her ki please come and say something yes. you are the creator yes. of your own life right yes. thank you 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 so much all right yeah. thank you everyone again so we'll look forward to seeing you in another sangha session soon um So I think we could go with the principle of creation, as it ma'am mentioned. So everyone will prepare and keep some insights so that we can share in next session. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you once again to all. So I'll end this session today. Thank you, everyone. My sincere gratitude. Thank you. Love you.